Welcome, viewers. In this video, we'll explore the telltale signs of a faulty AVAP canister, including check engine light activation, fuel odor, and potential performance issues. Stay tuned to discover how to address these symptoms and keep your vehicle running smoothly. The evaporative emission EVAP, canister, also known as the charcoal canister, is a component of a vehicle's emissions control system. Its purpose is to capture and store fuel vapors that would otherwise be released into the atmosphere. The location of the EVAP canister can vary depending on the make and model of the vehicle. In most cases, you can find it mounted on or near the fuel tank. It is often positioned in a location that allows easy access for service or replacement. When a vehicle's engine is running, fuel is constantly evaporating from the fuel tank. These fuel vapors contain hydrocarbons, which contribute to air pollution. The EVP canister is designed to capture these vapors and temporarily store them until they can be directed back into the engine and burned as part of the combustion process. The EVP canister is typically filled with activated charcoal, which has a large surface area and can absorb the fuel vapors effectively. The canister is connected to the fuel tank through a series of hoses and vents, allowing the vapors to enter and be stored within the canister. The stored vapors are then purged from the canister and introduced back into the engine when certain conditions are met. This process is controlled by the vehicle's engine control module, ECM, or powertrain control module, PCM, which opens a purge valve to allow the vapors to flow into the engine intake manifold. Once in the intake manifold, the vapors mix with the incoming air and are burned during the combustion process. The EVAP canister is an important component of a vehicle's emissions control system, as it helps to reduce the release of harmful hydrocarbon emissions into the atmosphere. It is subject to wear and tear over time and may require maintenance or replacement if it becomes damaged or fails to function properly. If you suspect an issue with your EVAP canister or the associated components, it is recommended to have your vehicle inspected by a qualified mechanic. Signs of a bad or failing EVAP canister can include number 1. Check engine light. A malfunctioning EVAP canister can trigger the check engine light on your vehicle's dashboard. The light may indicate a specific EVAP system related code, such as P0440, P0441, P0442, or others. Number 2. Fuel odor. If the EVAP canister becomes saturated with fuel vapors or develops a leak, you may notice a strong smell of gasoline around your vehicle. Number 3. Rough idle or stalling. A malfunctioning EVAP canister can affect the air-fuel mixture in the engine, leading to rough idle or even engine stalling. Number 4. Decreased fuel efficiency. If the EVAP canister is not functioning properly, it may affect the overall fuel efficiency of the vehicle. To diagnose a potential issue with the EVAP canister, it is recommended to follow these steps. 1. Skin for trouble codes. Use a diagnostic scanner or code reader to retrieve any stored trouble codes related to the EVP system. These codes can provide valuable information about the specific issue. 2. Visual inspection. Inspect the EVP canister and associated hoses for signs of damage, such as cracks, leaks, or loose connections. Pay attention to the canister itself as well as the hoses leading to and from it. 3. Smoke test. A smoke test is a common method used to detect leaks in the EVP system. A specialized smoke machine is connected to the system, and smoke is introduced to identify any areas where the smoke escapes. This can help pinpoint the location of leaks or other problems. 4. Pressure test. Another diagnostic method involves using a pressure gauge to test the system's integrity. The EVP system is pressurized, and the pressure is monitored to check for any significant drops that could indicate a leak. It's important to note that diagnosing and repairing EVP system issues can be complex, and it may be best to consult a qualified mechanic or automotive technician who has experience with emissions systems. They will have the necessary tools and knowledge to accurately diagnose and repair any problems with the EVP canister or the associated components. Thank you for watching the video. If you like the video, click the button, put your comment. If you are new to the channel, please do not forget to subscribe.